What's up guys, it's Chronologix here, and I'm here to show you a little thing for this April Fool's joke that ArenaNet has given us. It is the Super Adventure Box that has been added for this month, April. Uh, it is an 8-bit retro-style game inside of a game, more or less. But it has some interesting weapon skins, rewards that you can get for going through it uh, by acquiring baubles. Baubles. Bubble baubles. Now, if you get 250 normal baubles, you can turn it into a bobble bubble. The bobble bubble is what you need 50 of in order to get a weapon skin. Now, I'm going to show you... Some of you probably already know this, but basically... The chests at the end of the boss battle for zones 1 and 2, you can repeatedly do by creating a new character and running that particular content. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have a Sura. Skip to the end. Name it something. It's a Necro. That's kind of strange. It's going to start itself up here. A skip. This is going to be kind of a quote unquote speed run. Or I'm just going to call it a quick run. It's just quickly going through to get these things. It's not really a speed run because I'm not going for optimal efficiency. But there's a couple shortcuts and a couple little things I'm going to show you while I'm going through. And this will just be the quickest way to pretty much acquire these bubble bobbles. And I'm pretty sure there are several other people already doing it. That already slowed me down by me attacking this guy, but yeah, whatever. I don't think I've played a necro yet. Skip. Just skip every cutscene. Like I said, that makes it definitely quicker. I'm still in combat because I attacked that dude. Uh, I'm still in combat because I talked that. Oh man. Okay, there we go. So, what you want to do is you want to create an Asura. Why Asura? Because they start in Radasum. Why Radasum? Because that's where the Super Adventure Box is. Now, that's basically how you farm these things. You need the Super Adventure Box, and that's where you get skins. So, obviously, that's what you're going to want to do. That portal doesn't last anymore. But it worked. If you're lucky and get this without the pre-event, then you don't have to worry about it. The, the clones sitting here, um... I don't think I'm supposed to be in here right now. In fact, this may make it considerably more difficult. Is this even gonna work? Just keep attacking. You want know some of the minion, keep attacking. This is kind of bugged out, you know. Uh, basically, the corpse of the thing that you want to fight is not supposed to be here. Ha! When will you bloods learn? Don't mess with but the inquest. If it still works, you know, that's all good. Okay. Hopefully it does actually, in fact, work. And I'm attacking the... Okay. I'm assuming they're going to be like mechanics, but mechanists first, because they're the ones that supposedly uh, there's a bunch of invisible golems <laughs> that they're trying to bring in. I, I have no idea right now. This thing is completely bugged out. Ignore this type of uh, situation. It doesn't happen very often. You think you won? Now, the reason I'm showing the in entirety of this intro and everything is to give you a rough estimate of how long it's going to take to do a single one of these runs. Now you create the character, run through, get to the portal, and then you fight this guy. There we go, now he wouldn't even let me fucking target. And he's dead. Now it's much, much faster with more than one person. Uh, last run I did, I did it by myself. And it didn't quite go as fast, so that's always a plus. Poor bastard. That guy really needs a 2.0 version. 
so he could be a proper boss, not just some pushover. Do, 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 do. Okay. You don't need the rewards. They're pretty, you know, pointless. You can sell them. I think you get like seven copper for them or something. If you really want to, each time you recreate these characters, you can throw the money in the bank. Yeah, seven copper. So you can, you know, get your... How much money do I have? 72, so I'd have like 80 copper you can throw in there. <laughs> it's it's up to you. So as soon as you get into Rotasum, or as soon as you finish the the intro, you just immediately turn around, run into Rotasum, run across Rotasum, go into the Super Adventure Box. This is the box of amazingness. It was created as an April Fool's joke, but it's awesome. You literally can't go wrong with this thing. It is awesome. If it would ever load. Grab a coin from the machine. Wait for this guy to open his face. Open your face. Yay! Once he opens his face, you shove a coin in it. And once you get that, you come here. Click zone one. Just wait for it to actually trigger. There we go. This is an unskippable cutscene, so it will cut down the time ever so slightly. Or I guess add to the time, not cut down the... whatever. You know what I mean! He takes the princess, he's got his flaming nunchucks, this guy gives me a pointy stick, Tells me to go on an adventure. I take the stick and I graciously say, Let's go on an adventure! Shield appears, sword goes through it. And for these runs, we only do zones one and two. So this zone and the next zone, the Dark Forest, are the only ones we're going to be running through, and we're pretty much just going to book it shield's actually up there too. That's kind of a nice little addition. Now there's a chest here with a key. All you want to do is grab the key and then book it. Don't bother with the chest. The chest has a single bauble in it. It is completely and utterly pointless. So what you want to actually do is just grab the key, book it, and there's a chest a little bit later on that'll give you 20. Much better than one, I think. 20 compared to one. So I tend to just uh, do that. Now I'm not going to be killing anything, because really they don't give you a whole lot. They may give you one bobble. They may give you food, so it'd be completely waste. So really, you can just completely ignore the enemies. There's a five bobble thing there, but I'm not even going to bother with that. Got a nice little bit of lag there. Open that. Grab 20. Book it. Uh, if you have a friend with you that wants to go through and they have a shovel, there's a spot in the next zone where you can get another. It's either 20 or 40. Why is it not letting me in? There we go. It's either 20 or 40 baubles that you can get from uh, digging up this one spot. So I'll show you where that is once I get to it. I won't be able to dig it up though, obviously, because I don't have a shovel. But it's nice to know, right? No, just power. There's a bunch of bee guys here that also have, whatchamacallits, uh, the bubbles, but we're not going to deal with them either. There's a five bubble thing there that we actually are going to get. World, uh, not world, zone one is obviously pretty straightforward. You just run through it. There's no special shortcuts or anything of the sort. Just book it. Now there is a way to make that jump there. You have to use what is pretty much the dodge roll jump, which is jump and dodge roll almost at the exact same time. I think you dodge roll after the jump and it gets you a little bit extra height so you can make some of those jumps, but I don't even bother because my keyboard, 
I don't know. I think my keeper just hates trying to do it. So I don't even bother. Kill the monkey. Hey, Bobble. Use this, and then start smacking. Yeah, I swear that's what the shopkeepers say. Yeah, he laughs. Now, supposedly every uh, certain amount of seconds, I can hear my keys clicking louder. Every certain seconds, there is uh, a chance that he will actually consume some of the baubles that are in that chest there. So the faster you destroy the cage, the more baubles you get. So it's actually kind of a timed thing once you get to the boss battle. But that's not really what you're here for anyways, those are just extra. Really what it is is the glorious chest that you get after destroying the cage. And that gives you blank. Two bobble bubbles. And those are the currency that are required to create your weapon skins. So now we are going to zone two! The dark woods. And this is where we can get. If you, like I said, if you have a friend that has a shovel, or if you're doing this on one of your other characters, you can do this on all of your characters repeated. I just basically create a character and then repeat the content uh, just because I have a bunch of 80s. Now this rock right here, dig it. There you go. Get the guy with the shovel, go dig that rock, bam, you get a bunch of stuff. It's either 40 or 80, or uh, 20 or 40. I double the numbers there. My brain's working good right now. Hey, get either 20 or 40 baubles from it. It's either one or two of those little red orbs. I'm just gonna grab a couple of these stray baubles that are just wandering around. Like I said, this isn't a speed run. It's just a faster than normal run. I guess you can say. Now there's two parts with water, we just passed the first one, once you get past the second one, that's actually where the shortcut is that you'd use to more or less immediately get to the boss and complete zone two. And then you pretty much exit the zone, recreate your character, rinse and repeat. You've got to be kidding me. That doesn't, that doesn't supposed to happen. So you jump up the little pad, jump up there. You jump across to that log, and you come down here, and there's this dude. It's a, 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 a short cut worm guy. Yay! Kind of like a warp zone. And then you end up in a Jabu Jabu type of setting. Oh my god. I'm glitching the hell out. Okay. It actually wasn't moving me for some reason. There we go. You get some, like, underwatery type music. Once you get completely through Mr. Shortcut Worm, which will be here in a second, there we are. Once you get here, you're pretty much right at the boss. I love the music, dude. What the? Could I try and give you a compliment and you hit me with poison or something? Jeez, game. Last time I gave you anything. Smack this just in case this guy hits you. And then start bashing. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Now the camera angles for this particular boss battle are annoying as hell. Once I get around this corner, like you see this this mountain's creeping up on me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Yep, so uh, that will fuck up your quick run. 
uh, if that happens. So, you know, don't, don't let that happen. Super annoying. I was gonna be like, hopefully this video is gonna be like, flawless run! Everything goes perfect! No, can't have that. Fuck you. Can't have any of that. Don't you can do it again. There, jeez. Get that, pick the chest, get the baubles, and then, I don't know, you can either exit the zone, or go kill the spider, get smacked by the spider, go re-smack the spider, because he's a little bitch. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Exit the zone. Uh, you come back to Radasum. You put those items in the bank. You delete the character. You recreate the character. Bam. There you go. That's how you farm. I don't know why this is taking so long to load. There is a lot of people in Radasum just because of this event. This. Uh, there are a couple people who are really disappointed, like, WHY IS THIS GARBAGE IN OUR GAME? But this is actually, I don't know, I love this stuff, this is awesome. Screw those guys. This, like, how could you seriously not like this? This is great. It's like retro, you don't have to do it, it's not like mandatory. So they can, uh, pull that stick out of their ass. And, uh, load right assume. There, jeez. So I'll take a quick look here. So these are the skins that you can get. They require 50 of those, the bubble wobbles. So, and one gold also. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Uh, every time you do one of these runs, you get four baubles. Uh, you can like I said just put it into the box into your bank go create another character get another four baubles put it in the bank create another new character you'll also gain the normal baubles which you can then turn into bubble baubles so it's yeah it's pretty easy so uh, that's a quick ish way to farm the bubble baubles in this April event and I'll see you guys next time